Hey everyone, Luke Dog here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We got to meet David Hawk, even though he kind of got a different hair. But what are you gonna do? And now the question is: I have so many new options available. Where do I want to go next? Well, first I'm gonna go talk to Vivian because we've talked to everybody else, and we haven't really. Talked to her a lot recently. So I just want to see if she has any new dialogue options. Just so everyone's up to date. Nothing in your room, huh? Yes. Never mind then. Where's this go? Oh, right here. Good to know. Questions, questions. I should go, naturally. Liliana? <laughs> Okay. Anything to report? Inquisitor. They called you the left hand of the divine. That they did. What of it? I could use the left hand of the divine at my side out there. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bow me. Do you see? We'll talk more later. Yes? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. Trying to jump over. Nailed it. Worship. Nope, those are quarters. Dang it, I keep forgetting. Quarters are to the immediate right of the throne. War room is the second door over. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Unnecessary loading screen because I went the wrong way. I could go back to the hinterlands of the storm coast to try and find those tiles, but I don't think they'd show up on my map, so I'd just be wandering around. I could try and unlock a new area. It's good to see you. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Let's speak later. Another time. Okay, Council, time for your reports.
Inquisitor. While most of Haven had been destroyed, the Chargers recently recovered some lost gear, still intact, along with enemy corpses that might yield information about what we're up against. More importantly, the assistance of Ferelden forces enabled the Chargers to rescue refugees who had not yet heard what happened at Haven. My troops brought them in safely. In addition to the farmers you'd expect, there are several skilled craftsmen and even some soldiers. After seeing the devastation wrought at Haven, they are eager to help the Inquisitor. Inquisition. Lieutenant Cremisius at Classy. Ambassador Montillier, please convey my thanks to the Inquisitor. The Inquisition soldiers were of great help in clearing the area for the memorial's construction, and the sight of their uniforms raised spirits immeasurably. The monument will stand forever as a testament to the strength and fortitude of the faithful. Marquis de Durelian. Commander, a lot of mages just showed up. I hope they're friendly, because if they're not, we're in trouble. Captain Ryland. See what Dorian's request is. Now that you're in charge, there's something I thought to, I'd bring up. There are venatory mages out there lurking in the wilderness. This comes as no surprise to you since you can't swing a dead cow without hitting one of Corypheus's minions, but these particular venatory have additional significance to myself. For one, I know them personally. I would call them friends, except that would imply I didn't want them dead, which I do. Since I have an idea of where they might be, thanks to an investigation I began before coming south, I thought we could put our heads together and track them down. At which point they would sneer something at you into Vinter, and you would be forced to kill them. Which makes everyone happy. You for eliminating a potential threat, me for eliminating men and women too stupid and short-sighted to be permitted continued breath. They could be less happy, but who cares about them? Up to you, my lord inquisitor. Let us look into this carefully and quietly. We do not wish to alert the Venatori to our awareness of their existence. Let's see what we have. Inquisitor. The refugees rescued from Haven told a fa some fascinating stories, most notably one in which a wandering Chantry sister informed them that Corypheus was the true herald of Andraste, that he had been chosen to redeem the sins of man. The refugees remained faithful, but reported that they that this woman, either a mad woman or a venatory agent, convinced others. It may be worth our time to find this supposed Chantry sister. Ooh, this is going to take a long time. Regardless of what the Chantry thinks of the Inquisition, they will be eager to stamp out this heresy if we ask for assistance finding the rogue sister. Inquisitor. Five hours, jeez. Inquisitor, you may you may recall we offered your existing relatives relation yeah relatives in the free marches a promise of aid. One branch of your family has asked you to mediate their dispute for another, but their description of events is rather conv convoluted. It apparently began with an insult during the harvest ball in Ostwick over the quality of their milch cows, and escalated to a pitch battle between two hundred soldiers last week. Really, it would do us good to step in if only to preserve the name of the Trevelyans as a whole. We should contain the fighting. We can sit both sides down at a table once they surrender to us. To work? I haven't even touched the stuff over here, jeez. What? Let's go investigate the shards. Who do I want to bring with?
Why not? We'll do something in this new area that we've unlocked since however long ago. We got like five others available to unlock too. Jeez. <laughs> Inquisitor, I'm afraid we got here a little late. The Venatori were already here. We assume they're moving on the temple. Have you learned anything more about the temple? Sorry, we haven't been able to get close. Anything else I should know? Not much to tell. A mining company out of val used to have an interest here, but economies change and they moved on. Strange the miners never marked the temple on their maps. Oh, and some of the scouts saw a giant roaming in the area. Keep your eyes open. Don't want you to get stepped on. Oh, boy. Who needs to level up? Rift Mage. You who spent studying the Fade have given Solus the ability to manipulate its energies in unpredictable ways. He can pull matter from the Fade and even twist the veil into a weapon to hamper his opponents. This is where Stone Fist is? Bull, you got Reaver. The Iron Bull's combat style has honed his aggression and anger to a killing edge. He has learned to turn his own pain into a fury that makes him even deadlier when the fighting gets bloody. You mark part of the battlefield as yours. Enemies inside the ring take spirit damage while your own attacks inside the ring hit harder. The more you are hurt, the stronger both effects are. Artificer. After years of experience with the Merchant's Guild and the publishing world, Varric has become an expert at handling deadly traps and convoluted devices. You set a trap that, when an enemy approaches, detonates and flings enemies into the air. I'll take it. Anything new with inventory? You're still using the fire resistant cowl. We need to get you a new hat or something. Iron Bull. Yeah, we need to get you probably new stuff too. Okay. If 
find the door to Solasan. What do we have here? So far, just drifts and stuff. What's your requisition? This might interest you, sir. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Paragon's luster. Is number five. Fifteen shards in this area. I saw there was a landmark thing over here. Footbridge constructed one of eight. Constructed by the Enver's Mining Company. A few words are carved in a plank, only faintly visible in its weathered wood. Pass the time with another day. All the same, but you earn your pay. There's another landmark. Sketches of the statue from various angles occupy several pages of the journal. I have seen the pose before. Often it represents the burdens carried by those who die by the sword. Usually the man, or the head of his enemy, bears some identifying mark, but I can find none here. Perhaps there is some message in their uniformity. No claims to personal glory, only stern acceptance of duty. Given the approach's association with the wardens, it is a fitting sentiment. Except from the journal of Henry Doucette, Enver's Mining Company, representative and amateur historian. Dragonthorn. Excerpts from the Journal of an Unknown Miner dated 938 Dragon. Three Draconis. Dido wants to know what it means. Didn't we all? But he frits at it. Keep your head low, work like the rest, and shut it out. That's all he needs. Thirteen Draconis. He feels it. I know he does. We all see it. Still he pushes. I do not want to talk about it. I do not want to know what it means. Some evil magic best left alone. Is that not answer enough? He thinks it's more. It's in his head and he won't let it go. Nug again for dinner. This day never ends. Four cloud reach. Dito was on the edge uh, behind was on the ledge behind the pool. What was he doing? What does he know? If he disturbs it. Nico won't talk to Dito at all. He trades shifts so that they will not work together. I should do the same. 24 Cloud Reach. The boss says his boss in Val Furman will be sending someone to check on operations. Suppose it's just routine. Dito speaks strangely now. Too much time at the door. Nug again for dinner. Wonderful. One Blooming Tide. Make her forgive me, but Dito's ab absence is a weight lifted. Shame about the wife, though. What happened to Dito? Excuse me, guys.
So maybe we possibly climb down? I don't want to even attempt to jump that. Is there even a point to this? I guess so. Deep mushroom. Deep mushroom refers to the entire group of fungi that grows underground in caves and many parts of the dwarven deep roads. Collection can be a dangerous task, as the deep roads are often infected with darkspawn. Because of this, dwarven merchants often recruit castless hirelings for the job and pay them a meager per percentage of what they earn selling the mushrooms to surfacers. The most common vari varieties used in the herbalist trade are the blightcap, ghoul's mushroom, and brimstone mushroom, almost all of which tend to c carry the darkspawn's corruption. While they cannot transmit the disease, this trait often makes them quite poisonous. Deep mushrooms should only be handled by experienced herbalists and should never be consumed without first being adequately cleaned and prepared. Careless consumption has been known to cause insanity, severe abdominal cramping, and even death. Deep mushroom, beware. Ah, I want to get back up. Dang it. Guys, help me out here. Wish I could actually grab and climb. Come on. Is there any way out of here? Okay, then. I see you, Rift. Not going to you yet. I get a view of where I'm at.
Let's go this way. Trying to figure out my path. Who are you? Why are you following me? I'm just looking for stuff to salvage. He used to work here. I know no one needs it. I'm with the Inquisition. Been up here a while. But I'll assume that's important. Doesn't explain why you're following me. You came all the way out here to salvage old mining equipment? Mostly, I wanted to go into this one cave. Used to store stuff there. Damn thing wasn't overrun by spiders then. I put my wedding ring there. I couldn't stand the sight of the thing. <laughs> but I couldn't throw it away, either. So it was a stupid argument. Part of me knew I'd still want that ring. I'll leave you be. Right. See you then. Retrieve the ring. Hmm. I hear you muttering down there. Sketch of the pillars followed by another drawing imagining the pillars as part of a grand monument with appended note with appended noted notes on the subject. The remains of the structure surely predate the second blight, perhaps older. My knowledge of ancient Imperium architecture is limited. There are some similarities, but I'm uncertain of their origin. One of the miners thinks they're elven. Of course, this is based on a few carvings he found that look sort of elfy. The pillars are unlike the ruins one sees in the dales. Of course, these would be much older than anything found there. Except from the journal of Henry Doucette, Enver's mining company representative and amateur historian. Is it true that the entire Dwarven economy relies upon Lyrium? Uh, mostly. We've got the Nog Market cornered as well. And the Dwarves of Orzammar have never studied Lyrium? Well, if they have, they certainly haven't shared anything up here. Why? It is the source of all magic. Save that which mages bring themselves. Dwarves alone have the ability to mine it safely. I wondered if they had sought to learn more. Uh, the folks back in Orzammar don't care much about anything but tradition. Okay. Where are you, Shard? You're below me, aren't you? Dang it. Well, then let's take this path. See where this leads. Paragon's Luster.
We are in agreement that the incident that took place last week in the spiral mine was an unfortunate accident. Condolences will be sent to Dito's wife along with pay owed. Official statement posted by the mine overseer, name illegible. I can't see anything as it's so dark. Solus. Everyone, take one. Uh, no, no, no. Is this seriously it? What's with the veil fire then? There's gotta be something else. There's gotta be a veil rune here somewhere. There isn't. Oh. Here's something. Apostate's message. Markings are crude and simplistic, but their meaning can be understood. They did not ask questions, and so I was away. I keep my head low and work like the rest. The circle will not hunt this far. At first I regretted the choice, but they all feel the dread at the door. I do not stand out. One, only a brother or sister would know these words. If you found your way here as I have, then you are not alone. If you would have allies when this contract ends, then find me. For a moment, the pounding of footsteps can be heard, as if someone is running. Then it fades. Well, I did find something. question is if that was it or not. You guys want to help anytime soon? Thanks, Bull. Well, Harding told us they were here. Keep your guard up. Let's see, where are we? We do a rift over here. Just a few shards back here still. We apparently go out here. Oh. 
Let's focus on this area for now. Go take out this rift. Also, while I'm at it... There. Andraste, sweet ass, I'm a fool for betting I couldn't, what I couldn't pay. Now I have to take Nico's shift in the tunnel closest to the door. A lot of them fell silent at that. Nico tried to take it back. He's a good enough lad, but I gave my word. Nico's first night here, he thought to sleep below the ridge at the back of the pool. We didn't notice. He woke the whole camp with his screaming. He sleeps under the statue outside camp now and shakes when he co when he goes near the pool. I'll let him keep his win. He can owe me a drink when it's done. There must be something here. Whenever you feel like it, join in. Put down your torches and help. Paragon's Luster. No, that's not. Golden Scythe 490 Black. This battlefield spirit maintains a chill even in direct sunlight, which it appears to absorb. Optimal serving is by the drop. Contact with exposed flesh is discouraged, but likely er inevitable. Okay. Deep mushroom. Where does this lead? Down, down, down into a mine. Good to know.
Just loot. Hi, Nug. We can cut through here. Good to know. Let's go back and see where the other ones lead. Bull, take a potion. Follow the nug. way do we want to go? Left or right? Let's go... Left. There we go. Oh boy. Starting to branch off here. Iron Bull. I understand that among your people you are. What is the term? Ben Hasra. Secret police. Spies, basically. You spied upon your own people. Is that so different from Orlais or Ferelden? They have all kinds of people policing them. What they say and do, yes. Not what they think. What you think is what you say and do. No. Even the lowliest peasant may find freedom in the safety of her thoughts. You take even that. I think we found the giant. his legs. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I knew it.
Oh, wait, dang it. I hate how it keeps moving me. I hate how it keeps moving me around. Okay, let's see what you got. Not as good as what you have, so bye bye. You need to be level thirteen. Sorry, Varric. Human trained only. I need humans. Now that's something. Even in these wastes, there exists beauty. Husket. The curving tusks protruding from the snout are present in both males and females of the species. Rarely used in combat, the upper tusks play an important part in mate selection. It's believed that tuskets choose prospective, prospective mates based only based not only the size, but also on the curve and even slight color variation found in another's tusks. Considering tuskets bond for life, careful mate selection is crucial to the continued success of the herd. Bonded tuskets have been seen gently clicking their tusks together as a sign of affection. The role of the tuskets' signature ornamentation in the mating process led to an unfortunate rumor that their tusks could increase virility in other species. Although usually docile, tuskets will defend themselves if cornered, or if someone attempts to saw off part of their anatomy. It said Baron Vandermine lost three servants this way. From Observed Behaviors in the Common Tusket by Tilda Adir. At the center of it, the scent of water, the soft call of a tusket wading through the pool. Do you almost forget that outside the oasis, they're simply... Nothing. Except from a letter sent to Manon Dulac in Virchiel from her brother Leon. You probably gotta bash this from the other side. I've completely gone off track of what I was doing.
of food seeds. Spin the weed. The camp's right up here. Here it is. Sort of camp. Several dwarven academ academics at the University of Orlais have requested samples of ore from the Forbidden Oasis. Invest in the garden space to increase utility while, re while reflecting the, Inquisi the Inquisition's needs. Increase the ability to grow herbs or create a chantry space to gather resources from the faithful. What's the mining equipment? Mining operations at the Oasis were abruptly stopped, but with sufficient equipment, they could easily be resumed. Now what? There you are. Word for you. What is it? You may want to look into this. Serpent stone. I'm just getting so off track with what I'm doing, but there's... look at this place. Like a maze, and then you go down one path and you find so much other stuff to do. But you just happen to run into a shard. I was so low on elf root. I was need to find quarries and logging stations. Get up here. If I can make this, I don't think so.
Iron Bull likes taking down Venatoria, I guess. I was gonna fall down there for a sec. right over there just cr uh, just shimmy up <gasps> Oop. I didn't realize you would just fall down like that Come on! Get up! Fine, I'll go this way. Slip and slide. This is not what I wanted to do. Come on, get up there. Dang it. The terrain just sometimes just you don't want to grip it. Every single tiny little thing. Surely even you see, I am bull, that freedom is preferable to mindless obedience to the Kuhn. How so? Last I checked, our mages weren't burning down Parfallen. You think Ole and Ferelden would be better off under Kunari rule? Not really my call. I think most people everywhere have a system that works for them. When that breaks, you fix it, like we're doing now. Do not equivocate. Would we or would we not be better under the Kuhn? It's not that simple, Solus. It absolutely is. There we go. I'm going to this cave. There's the other rift. There's another ocularium up here. Where are you? Where have I already gone you? Ocean. Eh, let's just take out this rift. Ow. Thanks, Solus. <laughs> 
stone fist is awesome. That's right. You can't stop me now. This way doesn't look like it. Bye bye. Yeah, Bully's taking out Venatori, it looks like. Operations at this site are no longer profitable. Official closure will occur on 13 Justinian 939 Dragon. All workers will be fairly compensated for their time. Those interested in further employment may contact our people in Valfurman. Notice to Oasis site bosses by Marceau Anvers, owner proprietor of Anvers Mining Company. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm going back down. We don't have to... this one. Gotta be below. Okay. Can't go through there. Better 
further stock up. Solus. That was helpful. Now then. Back in here. All that other path. It's super dark. <gasps> No, it's not. Oh. Hmm. There is an ocularum there. Okay. Do I have any idea where I'm going? Not at all. So possibly to my death. This place this is a hard place to traverse. You're just trying to figure out your way around.
Go to that structure. That's probably a region or something. Yeah, there's a rift. That's why. popping out here. Sand stretches for stretch for miles, broken occasionally by a stony outcrop. The, mo the monotony was wearing, and the longer we traveled, the more I feared we would never escape it. Suddenly, my guide pointed, and I caught sight of two distant pillars. As we rode toward them, a statue of a man became visible. Despite a stern countenance and the fact that he held the head of some vanquished enemy, I have never seen such a welcome face. The oasis itself lies within a canyon. From a distance, one might see only more desert. The rocky hills surrounding it look the same as any other rocky hills. Were it not for the pillars and man, the place would not appear remarkable at all. When I expressed these thoughts to my guide, she laughed and said she could find the spot even without them. I conceded the point, not wishing to insult her skill. Still, I'm grateful to the bygone sculptor who placed his statue here. Excerpt from the Journal of Henry Doucette, Ev Enver's Mining Company representative and amateur historian. We need to resupply. Is there anything else out here, though? Long way to travel for a mining contract. Still have a few regions. to leave. Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba da ba da. Wind. Probably as far as we need to go. Okay. 
Let's head back this way then. Just need one more landmark. over here. Bum ba dum ba dum bum ba dum ba dum ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da Get over here, you. Man, you guys are nothing. I'm going to travel this camp, rest up, resupply. I want to get that last landmark. Because they know they don't show up on the map. There we go. Nah, I'm okay with you guys. This isn't the right one. takes us out here.
there's a path to it. Right above it, too. Just an easier way to fall down onto it. Ah. Uh. Oh, this was the... Hmm. This is the one path I didn't take. After watching one young lad scale a rock face on a bed, I was confronted to find that not all the miners share his lack of self-preservation and a railing have been built along the upper walkway. I admit the walk does offer a fine view of the heart of the oasis, the Poulan. Access from the Journal of Henry Doucet, and for his mining company representative and amateur historian. The next page marks the beginning of a new entry. Doucet was clearly fascinated by the region, yet, like all accounts of the area, a clearer description of the heart of the oasis is lacking. A notation by Enchanter Renaud, agent of the Inquisition. I hear spiders. I see spider. I need spider stuff. Yep, there's a two. There's a three. And there's a four. Now what goes in here? Left or right? Oh, we're back here. Dang it! Don't move away from it. There we go. Simple puzzle, yet hard to execute. Been down this way, haven't I? Yes, I have. Right side, we can find more shards.
fruit. I'll need you. Come on, jump. Can you just jump? Jump! Come on. Can't see. Jump! I'm pressing the jump button and he's not jumping. Oh my gosh, the train is so uneven that he can't... So let's collect it for me. I know I'm down here. The terrain is so uneven that he can't register when he's on semi-flat earth. Oh, there's a rift right over here. That was easy. Easy peasy. gone down this way. Lax path. Oh, and another ocularium. Lots of that. Deep mushroom. Oh, look, another rift. corner. Another 
one down. Nice job in that last fight. You really kicked the crap out of that guy. I suppose. <laughs> what? You don't think so? You ripped him a new one. It's great. Unless the fight is personal, violence is a means to an end. It isn't appropriate to celebrate. I don't know. Gotta wonder about anyone who fights as much as we do and doesn't have some fun with it. We have fought living men with loves and families. And all that they might have been is gone. <laughs> yeah, but they were assholes. <laughs> Where are you, Shar? There you are. Halfway there. Still got another one. Get it. Travel through this quick little shortcut. Hey, Spider. Take your stuff. Thank you. Need spider eggs. This would be like a rare drop or something. like a shield to the face. Okay then. A whole bunch of shards. And this thing way up here. Then they built all these tunnels throughout the mountains, then it's kind of meandering as well. See, where does this go? Shortcut. Huh. 
Just came over here looking for the shard. I think it's above me. Oh no, it's right here. Unlock with the power of six shards. Find shards by using. An inscription taken at the temple doors in the Forbidden Oasis, followed by a translation. The writing is shaking and uneven, as though the writing the writer labored to complete the task. Emma Solis him var dina, tel garas solastan, melana en athin las anaste. Arrogance became our end. Come not to a prideful place. Now let humility grant favor. And this is what all the shards are for. were purely benign. If it wasn't a trap, what was it? It may be a reward for those who prove themselves worthy. Okay, so we just gotta go through and kill everybody. Until we run out of shards anyway. You guys get Ah
Get the loot. Come on. Final door, huh? It's a lot of shards. Oh, I ran out. Paragon Keridan carving. All right, then. The reward is. A lot of fire resistance. Well, looks like I can't do any of the other rooms since I don't have no shards now. If that's the case. I think I'm gonna head back. To Skyhold. <clears throat> Hand in any favors or quests or whatever. Maybe talk to people. What was that? Okay. What's up, Cassandra? Yes? Do you have any advice for me? It's good that you recruited Enchanter Vivian into the Inquisition. She is ambitious, but has always shown sense in her dealings with the Chantry. My advice would be to watch her, but heed her when she speaks. That one wastes no words. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Okay.
Nice talking with you, boss. Inquisitor. A title hard to rhyme. A challenge for another day, I think. Forgive me my distractions, Eminence. I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done. My name is Merida. A humble bard. Are you a bard, like those of Orlais? Oh, heavens no. I'm a minstrel first. My weapon is a cutting tongue, not blade. I hope my skills will help in some small way, if only I can give your deeds their due. What do you bring to the Inquisition? A simple thing that you know well. The power of a muse to rally hearts and minds. Inquisitor, I want to spread the word of what you've done. A small but vital role. Perhaps I'll also make a coin or two. Carry on, then. Oh, I will do my best, Inquisitor. We are assembling quite the influential list of allies. Hey, Sarah. Hey, it's you again. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. Praying's nice, I suppose. Corypheus bit, though. Shite. Corypheus. 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 Sack splash. I know his name. Doesn't deserve the respect of me saying it, does he? What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people? Right, which ones? We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Right. That's why. Stairs. True enough. Hey, Cole. He hunts the killer, but he's the one who killed her. He can't remember. I hear you've been busy. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. Let's talk about something else. All right. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something. Food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack. Fix it, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear, makes me a person, calls me kid. A friend, solace, bright and sad, observes and accepts, spirit self, seeing the soul, solace, but somehow sorrows. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun, the mark makes you more, but past it, war and weariness, blood and battle. Life learning to lead, clash, kill. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight. You are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. It must be sad, feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No, I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. 
I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? I'll talk to you later. Probably. Cole, have you ever thought of maybe talking with Varric and doing some poetry? Because your alliteration is pretty good. Cullen, you are this way. Close all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please don't stop on my account. All right. Your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won. And <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. You can't be serious all the time. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> I believe this one is yours. Well played. That was a nice little relaxing bit. Now where's it gonna spawn me at? Dear Mia, I'm still alive. Your loving brother Cullen. Honestly, is it so difficult? We thought you were dead. Again. If the Inquisition was not on everyone's lips, we would never have heard that their fine commander survived Haven. We've been hearing strange things about the Templars lately. I'm not sorry you left them. I thought your resignation was implied when you joined the Inquisition, but you meant something more, didn't you? It's a fool's errand asking you to stay safe, but please try. Your loving sister. See how easy that is? Mia. Inquisitor? Is there anything I should know? Not at present. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Okay. Meantime, wrong way. Down, 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 we go.
Blackwall, you have any updates? Something on your mind. Beric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. If this is true, then all Wardens are in danger. Even you. You'd better find your brothers. I agree. If Hawk's given you an idea where to start, we should get moving immediately. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Way of the... Oh! Way of the Champion. From champions of note and a great tradition. There's a sacrifice in attaining the adulation of others, for while the champion is raised above all but their patron, this is done with the weight of expectation. Their shoulders bear the hopes of those they protect, the pride of those they inspire, and the demands of those they lead. And in becoming such a figure, the champion accepts not just the aspirations of his or her allies, but also the dangerous envy of the enemy. One must remember the figures of note who have come before, for the glorious tales of their triumphs are often punctuated by steep and sudden tumbles. They burn bright and draw others to their glory, but as anyone who knows of flames can attest, a simple shift of breeze or landscape can send the fire homeward. Those who seek the title never think themselves joining a hundred bound with obscu for obscurity. They know they are the rare few who will permanently be enshrined in glory. If they did not think as such, they would not be fit to try. Many heraldic symbols follow, as well as martial instruction. Okay, I needed that for the champion thing. And I just need to get all the other stuff. Isn't there a garden or something I can update? Oh, is it the fast travel thing? Dang it! Don't use those. What do we have over here? Oh, this must be the garden. of herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. I intend to carry on the work of my esteemed colleague, Adan. He thought highly of you. You will be missed. I look forward to working with you. And I you. I wasn't sure what to think of you people, but recent events have put those doubts to bed. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must.
Let's go with Blood Lotus. Upgrade the garden to a chain tree, bringing hope to all who seek it. A functional upgrade that brings a potential resource gain from the inspired, including gold from tithes. Upgrade the garden by committing this space to simple greenery and cultivation, a functional change that allows more herbs to be harvested. Let's go with herbs. Yes. For where there grows the simple scent of sprigs and new and a furrowed soil. For on the vine are yours and mine, a bounty blessed by honest toil. Though brave in war and ways we are, and wander thus in victory. It's on the vine where yours and mine are graced with health and history. In home and hearth and battlefield, our, sus our sustenance is common held. If on the vine are yours and mine, and always there we are compelled. For turning home is not retreat, when home is why we fight at all. And on the vine is yours and mine, entreating in our heart to the call. So of the boons you cannot buy, there are but two we're certain of. Not on the vine of yours or mine is first the cost of truest love. And that denied our purchase price, we turn our gaze to what's in hand. And of the vine and yours and mine, tumultuald from our own land. From a garden's grace, songs of the field. Ah, Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corotheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corytheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Farewell, revered mother. Until next time. to an Inquisitor agent. My darling Wilbur, I'm so proud of you. We heard so much about the Inquisition in the village. It makes me happy to know you are doing your part. I'm sorry about what happened to Haven. I'll light a candle in the Chantry for Fallen. Please take care of yourself. I know what you're like when things get busy and the fate of the world hangs in the balance. You must take care of yourself before you can help save the world, you know. Don't forget to eat. You're still in the mountains? It must be cold and wet. Why couldn't it be a fort in the hinterlands? Then you'd be closer to home. Well, dress warmly. Shall I send you a blanket? Anyway, you should write more often. I don't understand why you can't tell me what you're doing. You shouldn't keep secrets from your mother. Love always, mother. P.S. What do you mean I have the address to the letters to Rector? Is that what they call you there? Why? Your name is Wilbur Quigley. It's a good name. Wilbur was your uncle's name. He fought in the Battle of River Dane. We're all so proud of him. Are you ashamed of your given name? Why are you ashamed, Wilbur? Eh, he has to keep his name a secret, that's why. Hush, hush, you know. What can I do for you, Inquisitor? Interesting altogether. Carry on. This one, I remember. Let's get this requisition out. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montillier's fortunes. I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Orlais. It's devastated our finances. 
The Montelliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to save off interest. It's just... it is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montilliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale... <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Who hates the Montilliers enough to do that? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boisvert, a nobleman in Val Royale, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Speak with Josephine and Valerio. Okay, but first, I'm gonna have everyone report in, send them back out, and then probably call it actually. This wasn't too bad. We did a good amount of stuff in the Oasis. We just basically need to get more shards. Okay, everybody, let me see your reports. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Increases inventory. Any word? Nothing yet. Dorian Lee, Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where they, where these Venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I mark the locations on your map, should you pass by any on your travels. Dear cousin, I did not expect you to come to our rescue, as we haven't seen each other since we were babes. Nevertheless, you have, and I am grateful. Your soldiers not sent into the starters of this feud. No one has the heart for any more bloodshed since your people rode in between their skirmishes and subdued or cowed the captains into surrender. If Trevelyans fight, it should be for a noble cause. I've sent some of my guards to help your Inquisition, and I pray Andraste truly guides your hand. Very sincerely, Lady Osher Lothrain Trevelyan Bayard of Ostwick. Thanks, cousin. We got all the way up here. Inquisition agents have unlocked a potential problem in the nations of Navarra. A divinity mage by the name of Aurelius has recently been noted in the company of King Marcus, and rumors comment on how strange it is for a new advisor to be so closely heated. There's evidence to indicate Aurelius is a member of the Venatori. Having the Navarran king under their sway would give the cult a great deal of power and hinder the Inquisition's ability to operate in the north. 
Send an agent to eliminate the advisor, as well as his supporters, by any means necessary. Let's see what we have. It was to be expected. In the wake of so many important deaths and the rise of the Inquisition, several noble houses are attempting to spur their fortunes by crafting an alliance of their own. For now, they seem marred in arguments of seniority. It will be a long time before any of them threaten our standing. I say invite them to observe our soldiers' training, to show that we are not heretical outlaws. All right. Good work, everybody. Good luck. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? None in particular. Our guests are well pleased with what they've seen. Okay. Next time, we might go to Valorio and help Josephine out. And then after that... Maybe go back to the Western Approach, the Oasis, and get more shards, or maybe go to a new area. Well, until then, if you liked this video, let me know in the comments. If you really liked it, press that cute little like button. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Luke Dog, and I'll see you next time.